Do you have a dream to study in UK and work and get settled? But you cannot find the best university for you? Even scholarships? Then this video is for you guys. Hello, Assalamu Alaikum everyone. My name is Dr. Nida Sheikh from Dental Magic. If you are new here, then welcome. If you are already been a Dental Magic family, then welcome back. In today's video, I will be discussing and guiding you guys to your dreams. That is MPH, Masters in Public Health from UK. So if you are interested in such videos, then watch the video till end. So let's get started. we have faced pandemic in last two years and it is not over yet so uk government is emphasizing and giving importance to the health sectors due to corona and other diseases that are unknown and we are not aware of so keeping this in mind public health sector is be great importance so now masters in public health has a great scope in uk and you can get a wide range of opportunities in masters in public health after completing if you are interested in such videos then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and be the dental magic family in today's video we will be discussing about the time duration of mph in uk and what are the top universities that provide this course in uk what are the scholarship available and how you can apply for it documents needed for mph course to top universities of uk that provide this course fee structure of this course in uk admission process for masters in public health in uk so these are all the things that we will be discussing so stay tuned till the end to know each and every detail that you want to know before you get admission so coming to the first question that is what is the time duration of masters in public health in uk so masters in public health in uk is approximately about from 10 months to 2 years depending upon what field you choose in masters in public health as uh, mph itself is a vast stream the next question is what are the various sectors included in masters in public health so masters in public health is a vast stream and it is expanded into various fields the fields are as follows epidemiology health education health economics mental health occupational health safety so these are the fields that are present in masters in public health that you can offer to do your course what are the job opportunities after you complete masters in public health in uk you can work as the following in uk after you complete mph you can work as emergency health responder biostatistician epidemiologist health education teacher health safety advisor and nutritionist etc and etc so these are the things that you can work as in uk you can get the job after you complete mph to know in detail about the scope of mph in uk then you can go and watch my video and i will provide you the link in the description box below the next question is what is the application process to get admission in mph in uk so the applicants that are opting to choose masters in public health from uk universities they should have the follow bachelor's degree in dentistry or any other medical field that is very very important it should be from a standard recognized university the second is minimum academic score should be 60 percent nursing health and social science background people can also apply for the admission and relevant work experience for about three years or more are very very important to get accepted as an applicant you should also have an evidence of basic maths and basic uh, computer science so that you are able to manage the proper course when you get admission the next thing that you should have is english proficiency proof 
IELTS with the minimum score of 6.5 in individual module and 7 mm -hmm. score band overall. So these are some of the most basic requirement to get admission in MPH in UK. The next question is what are the documents that are very, very, very important for you to have in order to complete your application? The documents that you should have is the first one is a transcript. The transcript showing full subject details and grades offered in the previous institution. Second is photocopies of all the official certificates. For one or more reference and recommendation letter that is also known as LOR. Curriculum Vitae, that is CV, Evidence of English Language, that is IELTS, Copy of a Passport and Statement of Purpose, that is SOP. And to remind you, Statement of Purpose is very, very, very important. So write it wisely and choose your word wisely because your admission completely based on SOP and LOR. The next thing, the very important thing that is the top universities offering MPH course along with the fees and scholarship. This is the most awaited question that you have been waiting for throughout the video. So stay tuned till the end. The first university is Queen's Mary University of London. The course offer is Masters in Public Health, Masters in Mental Public Health, that is MSc. The fees is around £19,850. That is approximately about 20, 000, uh, 20 lakhs in INA. IELTS score required is 7 bands. And the scholarship that is available in this course in this university is Chevening Scholarship. The second university is University of Glasgow. The course offered is Masters in Public Health. The fees is around £22,500 and the scholarship available is the Glasgow University International Le Leadership Scholarship. The IELTS required for the admission is uh, approximately about 6.5 bands. The next university is Newcastle's University. The course offered is Masters in Public Health. And the fees is around £22,800. The IELTS required for admission is around 7 bands. The scholarship available in this university is Excellence Scholarship. The fourth university is University of Edinburgh. The course offered is Masters in Public Health, MSc. And the fees for the course is £22,850. And the IELTS required for the admission is £7. And in this university, you will be getting two scholarships. So you have more chances of getting scholarship. The first scholarship is Shevening Scholarship. And the second is Glenmore Medical Postgraduate Scholarship. So go and apply for it so that you can achieve your dream. The next university is London School of Hygiene and Topical Medicine, LSHTM. The course offered is Masters in Public Health, that is MSc. And the fees, the fees for the course is £24,200. The IELTS required for the admission in this College is seven bands and the scholarship that is available is Jaren Enzik Memorial Fund Scholarship. The next college is University College of London. The course offered in this university is Masters in Dental Public Health. And the fees for the course is £25,900. And, and the scholarship available in this College is University College London Alumni Scholarship. The IELTS band required for the admission is seven bands. So it's really, really important for you to score at least 7.5 bands so that you can apply in any of the college that I am mentioning in this video. Comment down below now if you want to know the tips and tricks for clearing your eyes with the flying colors and I will come up with a video for you guys if you are interested in it. So fill the comment box now. 
The seventh university is King's College London. The course offered is Masters in Public Health MSc and the fees that is for this course in this college is £26,500 and the IELTS required to get admission in this university is 7 bands. The scholarship available that you are looking for is King's International Scholarship. Comment down below if you have any queries, you are free to ask any question and I will answer them all. The next university is University of Cambridge. The IELTS required for the admission is around 7.5 bands. So it is very, very important for you to score at least 7.5 bands in your IELTS in order to get admission easily on in any of these uh, universities that I'm mentioning. So it's very important for you to score good in IELTS. The fees of this course in this university is around 22,220 pounds and the scholarship available in this college is Gates Cambridge Scholarship. Last but not the least, the ninth university is University of Manchester. The course offered in this university is Masters in Dental Public Health, it is MDPH. The IL band that is required to get admission in this university is around 6.5, that is not much to score. And the scholarship available in this college is British Chevening Scholarship. So these were some of the top universities that offer you masters in public health and the courses available and the scholarships available. So coming to the most interesting part, once you get qualified and you complete your course, what is the salary package if you get the job in UK after completing your MPH? UK is the third largest paying country to the public health sector. So you have a lot of chances to get trained. After the student visa, you have at least two years to do job. So it's a very, very good thing for you to go for. And the salary, yes, coming back to the topic, the salary that you will get is 30,000 Great British Pound. So if you are interested in such program, then go for it and join the university and I wish you all the best for your future. So that's it for the video and if you find the video helpful and it helped in any way, then don't forget to share, share with your friends and families and don't forget to subscribe. And if you're interested in such videos and if you like it, then don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe my channel and be the Dento Magic family. Stay tuned till the next video. Till then, stay safe, be happy. Allah Hafiz.